Good morning, welcome to Planet Mojo. Today, I'm gonna to be installing the load center for the wood shop. As you can see, got wires coming out over there. This is a good deal done already. I started this, oh, three, four days ago and they were working on this black wall at the time. There was just no way I could record. So I'll catch you up to where I'm at and try to get this job finished today. If you've been following the channel, we had planned on putting an emergency generator right here and we still plan on doing that, but we're gonna wire it up different. So what I had here, my panel is right next to the window there and then the pipe drops down into the trench. We have water going in there as well. It drops straight down into the trench, goes across the trench, comes straight up behind the blocks here, goes at a 45, and then at a 90 over to here. That is three 90s and a 45. We had originally planned to go from right here with a 90 and come up to a mounting board for all this stuff but we've changed plans on that. So I had to add three 90s to this to get it to the panel. So I pulled from right here, got everything pulled out, and then pre-connected this, this, and that, and pulled the wire through that. And then finally, I pulled the wire through this part right here. That is one aught aluminum wire. This connection is not made yet. I gotta cut into the bank a little bit. I gotta pull this kind of sideways, tip it up and put it right through here. But I gotta wait to turn the power off. So I'll be working in there first. Yesterday, I vacuumed a string through the line. If you've never seen that, there's a bunch of videos on it, but basically you just have a loose bunch of string outside tie a bag to it then i turn on the vacuum cleaner and put the nozzle in the hole there and it sucks the bag and the line all the way through and then with that line i pulled through the fish tape i bared one of the wires and put it through the end of the fish tape and then wrap this up nice and tight with gorilla tape you don't want to use electrical tape on a heavy wire like that. It's just going to rip all up. This is Gorilla duct tape. But anyway, I pulled from out there. My wife pushed from in here. We used lube on it and we got it all through. Now it's all ready to go. What I'm going to do is hook up the load center right here. I need to put a wall here at some point. So I'm just going to have the wires bare coming up to the load center, get that hooked up. Any slack in the wire, I'm just gonna kinda pull to the side and then go up into there. At a future date, not too long from now, I'll be putting a pipe from there to the load center, but for today, I just need to get this box on the wall and get it hooked up. leave these wires exactly as long as they are. When I do the permanent installation, I'll cut them to length and bend them and do all the nice neat stuff. But for now, I'm just gonna pull them back through the hole, get them into their proper lugs. We have a neutral lug here and two line lugs here. I'm also gonna install the ground wire and I'm gonna drive a ground rod outside. All right, all hooked up. 
This, I definitely don't recommend doing this yourself. I would hire an electrician to do it, but a thing to note, when you're stripping the ends on these things, you can't get any nicks whatsoever in the aluminum conductors. And when the final installation is put in, which is just going to be two weeks, you need to use antioxidant on the ends here. And if you don't know how to do it, there's instructions on the bottle, but you have to work it into the aluminum and fill the lug and a few other things. Okay, now for the ground. The ground in its final form is going to come right through here. It's going to come down, bend, and go through the wall. Until I get a wall in here, I'm going to temporarily hook it up. What I'm going to do is take this long bit and start drilling right through here. I'm thinking right about that angle, but I'm going to practice over here. I want to drill through to the outside, but I don't want to hit my tin siding. The siding is about four inches down. You can kind of see what's going on down in here. It's a little bit dark, but yeah, not quite as much of an angle as I was thinking. So right about like that. Then once I have the hole drilled, I'm going to unchuck the drill bit and tape a piece of wire onto it, regular like 14 gauge wire, and try to pull that through. Once that's through, I'm going to pull the copper through with that. Hopefully this goes well. Oops. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Okay, let's see how this worked. Ah, there it is. Right there. Okay, now to pull the wire through. All right, plan B. Try to poke the wire down into there. I was hoping I didn't have to do this, but looks like I'll have to.
it probably took me over an hour to get this last part hooked up. I got, well, I pulled this apart and kind of twisted it. That way I was able to push my pipe through here and get my wires into the box there. Then I glued that and got my breaker in place. That breaker was real hell to get in place because we're working with real heavy wire in a pretty tight space there. Now I'm going to get the lid put back on this and turn off my 100 amp breaker and wire up a couple outlets so I have light in there. Okay, she's all done except for putting dirt back into the hole. Now we'll turn this breaker on and close the pedestal up and see if we have light in there. I wired up two 20 amp breakers and ran them to two duplex outlets. It was just a chunk of the old temporary electric, which is right here. And they're in the on position and we have the light hooked up to it. Let's see if we got some light. Beautiful. All right, so I have a couple holes to fill in out there and a big cleanup to do tonight. But other than that, this is done. Now I can concentrate on the mini split, I believe, is next. Then I have a heavy wire that's going to cross over and go to a sub panel over here. I have the propane lines. Yeah, I have tons of stuff. But with this done, I can fill in that hole right there and continue to insulate. And once I have that mini split figured out and have the pass through done, I can get that insulated. I'll be done with the walls then and I can put up my last wall right here and we'll be one step closer to getting the ceiling in so we can get some heat in here this winter. But first comes the mini split and that may be a little bit difficult because that's going to mount to something that's not here yet and I'm going to have to figure out how to do that. So if you want to see that make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.